Hi all, welcome to this summer 2020 semester of MACA 1320 Intro to Photoshop. This is your home page. That is the page that will come up for the very first time um, and all the time as the home page on Canvas. What I want to do is before I get into Canvas, before I get into things like the modules and the assignments, I want you to hear from me what I consider to be important this semester and then we'll come back to all of this. So first, I just want to say hi. The little movie thing that's playing on screen right now is um, going to be delayed with my voice. So it's going to be kind of irritating for you, but I'm not going to show myself for long. I just want you to hear um, something very important from me about this semester and about the current state of affairs at Macomb Community College. So I want you to know that I am here for you all semester and even after that. So while I'm talking and telling you um, what I consider important this semester, I'm going to be showing some advanced work from students and some of the assignments this semester um, that have been completed by students, uh, prior students. So I want you to see as I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to make it bigger like this so you don't have to see my face. And I'm going to click on the first one and I'm going to show you that these are um, advanced projects, but the important thing is, is all of these students used the skills, techniques, and methods that you're going to learn this semester. So don't look at this as a car. Don't look at the next one as a car. Don't look at that as a baby's face. What they are is um, smaller shapes leading to bigger shapes. And that's it. The actual way I should have said that is you paint the big shapes first and then you work your way to your small shapes. And then I want you to know that that's exactly how simple Photoshop can be. And I'll make it fairly simple, but I want you to hear something from me as I'm going through this that is important um, before the semester starts. So I'm going to keep my finger going down on these and then I'll switch folders. But I want you to know that it's not about projects. It's not about the eight or nine or ten projects you're going to do this semester um, that are the important thing. The important thing is learning the skills and techniques that, for instance, on this one, the skill and technique to go into painting the hair or to go into grabbing the texture on her little dress or the drops of water on the glass are the same techniques for everything. And I'll make it as simple as possible. All of these, yes, are done by students who are currently illustrators or designers and illustrators in the industry right now. And every single one of these students struggled at first. Every single one of these students wondered if they would get it. I'm going to make the projects fairly simple. I'm going to make the projects um, go from uh, bigger shapes to smaller shapes. And that being the case, I want you to see something. Okay, I came back to this one because I have a movie, a real quick one that I'm going to show right now on the screen. And it shows the start of this and I'll play it it's gonna loop okay let me just make this bigger I want you to see from the very start how things in Photoshop get painted watch how this starts out with big fills it's gonna happen in a couple seconds you see the big fills go to the small shapes right there now I'm gonna include this later on in the semester for you as you're painting one of the projects so that you can actually play it like I'm going to play it right now. So watch how that is where this project starts. So that's the biggest shape or shapes 
and it's lowest in the layer palette. Now watch how you work higher in the layer palette as you get to making smaller shapes. And then some shapes get duplicated. Notice how you don't paint around things, you paint through things. What does that mean? That means that that big red shape actually has two buttons on it, a dial and some other things. But those are actually painted on top of that red shape. Now that happens whether it's a nose on a face or an eyeball on a face or a wheel on a tire or what you're looking at. That is the secret of Photoshop. And I want you to see how easy it is when you work to the higher layers and you work to the smaller shapes. And then suddenly, when it's all done, this particular piece here, done by Rosalie Nico, would go for somewhere between $2,000 and $2,500, and she could paint it in a day and a half. All right, and that's pretty good money. And she's an illustrator in the business right now. Now, the reason why I'm starting with all of this, the reason why I'm doing this is so that before we actually enter Canvas, is that you can see what um, is you can see not only samples from students, but I want you to hear this. And again, I will say it: every single one of these students struggled. Every single one of these students had a hard time at first. But all of you will make it because I do something extraordinary. I think not because I developed it, but just because I consider that, and I'm going to bring this other one over here. Um, I consider, and let me just start this, that's an actual picture of a baby's face, but let me finish my statement. Um, I don't want you to be afraid to make mistakes. I don't want you to be afraid to do something over again. I don't want you to um, get too frustrated beyond the point where you can start over on something. And the longer you go with Photoshop, the easier it gets. And I'll make the skills um, grow assignment by assignment, step by step, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna show you here that this is the actual baby original that Anna did. And I'm gonna show you if I keep on going that there's her painted piece. Don't be overwhelmed by this. She started with the same projects you're gonna start with. And some of those projects she had to actually redo because she didn't do well on them. I notice I didn't say she didn't get a B or a C or a D. I don't care about grades. And that's what I wanted you to hear from this. I don't care about grades. I don't care about um, deadlines at, while you're in school. You know and I know that's the original pic and that's what the student painted. That's an advanced this is all advanced, so you're, this is an intro class, but I want you to get excited for what is right around the corner, that you can actually do some very sophisticated stuff within a year's time, within six, eight months' time. You will be painting things that you absolutely can't even believe, and that's to people who didn't even want to paint in Photoshop or didn't want to be illustrators. I've had designers also add illustration to their career because number one, it's very lucrative, and number two, it's not that hard. Okay, it just takes discipline. So um, let's go through, and I'll repeat myself a billion times on this, but let me put this back on my other screen, and let's keep on going. Oh, hi. I'm going to put me away and we are going to now go through the assignment guide. We're going to go through the first day handout. We are going to go through the Canvas um, homepage and how to get to the Canvas homepage. We're going to go through all of the modules and how to do the first assignment. So what I want to do is to show you, um, and I'm thankful that I clicked myself off there, I'm going to go and log into Canvas for the first time, but I'm going to use Firefox. So when you guys come up to the home page, and a lot of you are okay at this already because of the college's need to go hybrid and online, I'm going to click the My Macomb. Now you all know My Macomb gets you into this page where you actually log in. So I'm going to log in and go right to the Canvas um, 
page. So right here, when you guys log in, just go down to where it says Canvas over on this side. See where I'm clicking right there? And I'm going to click Canvas. Now, I want to bring up this upper little item right there to show you that if you don't have this class available to you um, and you're watching this on the weekend prior to the class starting, I'm going to want you to write down this number. Okay, that's the same thing here. I just made it bigger. Write down that number, 877-362-2662. Call them on Monday morning if you're having a problem and you don't see your classes in what I'm about to show you. Because I want you um, ready to go as soon as possible. And I want you to email me if you're having issues and I'll try to help you too. But that's the online support number for Canvas. And they will help you if you tell them, well, I'm signed up for a class online and I can't get in. So they're going to have to give you permission to get in. Most of you will have it already and you'll be fine on Monday morning. So let me minimize this and keep on going. So you're not going to have all these classes in your dashboard. This is what comes up at the dashboard when you first um, open up Canvas. Okay, I'm going to go into your course. Now I have all of these courses here. You're just going to have this MACA 1320 Intro to Photoshop course. Now I'm going to click it and you're going to go to a home page here. Now I don't like using Firefox so I'm going to quit Firefox right now and I am going to go into Canvas. Um, <laughs> so um, I'm going to go into Chrome. I'm sorry. I'll go into Canvas through Chrome. So on this home page, I want you to see that um, the movies that you watched on the weekend are also here. The syllabus movie, the motivation and methods, and the Brian Sorial portfolio movie. So what I want to do is just make sure that you have watched all three movies. You're, if you're watching the third movie, you're hearing me talk right now. But on this, obviously all of you need to get Photoshop. Okay, so I have this creative cloud. I'm highlighting it here, pricing link, and I will click it right now. Now on the pricing link, you can see that there's a student and teacher pricing. It's $19.99 a month to actually lease or rent, however you want to say it, um, the Adobe Suite. And uh, just click buy now. And if you don't want it at the end of that time, then you can cancel it, okay? Um, but that's between you and Adobe. So whether it's PC or Mac, please click this link and get Photoshop on your machine as soon as possible. If you don't have Photoshop, obviously it's going to be hard for you to conduct this class. So let me close this and go back to here. Um, I want to, um, even though it's small on screen, I want you to know that my online availability is even past Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. All right, and I want you to use the Canvas email, the Canvas inbox to send me a message. Now, this is how you would do it, okay? So over here to this side, you can see the inbox. If you have to send me a message, click the inbox. In the inbox up here, you should come up with your class right here, but I'm gonna click Compose. So you go into a Compose. Now you select the course, which obviously you might only have one in there. I'm gonna have probably several, okay? But it would be 1320. Two, you click this little icon here to the right. You click Teachers, and then you click Brian Sorial. Put in a subject, okay? Put in a subject, and then just send me a message through Canvas. Now, if you're having a problem sending me a message through Canvas, I have put in, and let me go back, I have put in my regular email address here as well, and I want you to see the correlation between what you're going to see here and the first day handout. Now, the first day handout is right there. So I'm also going to send you the first day handout on the weekend prior to this class starting. So I'm going to open it up right now. So here is that handout. Now all you would do, 
let me cancel that and minimize it. All you would do is click this right here on the first day handout and it will download to your screen automatically. So I'll double click it right now. And now you can see in here after you get past this first two pages and let me zoom in here so you can see this a little bit better than um, having to squint. <clears throat> see, and I'm going to correlate this first day handout, the syllabus, with um, the Canvas class, the online Canvas class. So obviously, if you can't email me through Canvas, here is my email. Whoops, sorry. Here is my email. I'm going to have to go do that again. Here is my email. Let me zoom in. Sorry about that. This is my email and it'll automatically link. So I don't want to go into it right now. But here is my email. Sorry will be at macomb.edu. Um, I'm going to close that and open this up again because I want to get into that. And you know what? I'm not afraid to make mistakes around you. I'm really good at Photoshop and I'm also really, really good at telling you that I've made every mistake there is to make. It's partly why I can fix everything because I've had to. <laughs> so um, let's get back to it right now. And I want you to read that. All right, please use the Canvas email. If you can't, use the Sorial B email. Now in Canvas, I've shown you how to click and get to me. And then again, I've shown you if it's unavailable, use this. Okay, I've given you a quick list here for the important dates of the semester in your first day handout. I've given you the dates all semester long that apply to week one through eight. Because obviously in week one through eight, I have assignments. Now let's go to a final page in here um, and I'm going to come back to some of this, okay, but I'm going to go down to the final page in here because I want you to see this. This quick look weekly schedule I've also put right here. Let me um, find where I put that. Right here. See how I have this quick look weekly schedule? I'll go back to here and show you what I'm talking about. So in week one, you know that by 524, the web page asset is due. That's the first assignment. In week two, the photographic retouch is due. In week three, the image manipulation is due. Now I'm going to show you what these are so you can kind of see them before we even get you even try them. Then you have the 3D texture in week four, the character in week five, the organic apple doesn't say Apple, but it's the organic Apple, which is due on 628 at the end of this week six. Then the hard surface project, which is an iPhone, and then a tear sheet that you're going to make. What is a tear sheet? It's a, it's an eight and a half by 11 list of all your, the stuff you've done. It's like a mini portfolio. Okay. Now let's take this quick look. I'll put it on my other screen. Um, but, uh, actually let me put that on my other screen and show you this. Uh, what did I just do? Okay, I put it somewhere. I guess I, oh, there it is. Okay, so there, it, it didn't go on my other screen. It came back on this screen. So let me go in and show you not this yet. Let me put it down a bit and I'm going to show you um, the assignments as they appeared this semester. So the assignments that I've um, already told you about, and I'll move this over so we can kind of see it right here. Let me move it over here. Okay, so week one, we have the web page asset. You see that right there? All right, I'm going to show you the web page asset. And even though this is an HTML, I'm going to show you that um, here is the very first assignment that you're going to do. Now, you're not going to create a web page on it. You're going to actually create, and here's the actual first assignment. So some of you are going to actually want to go through the four movies to make this an active web page. But all I require is that you make me the Photoshop page of this. So there's four movies with this first assignment. If you only want to do the first two movies, then you're going to send me the Photoshop of this and of this. 
okay? But it's going to be your face inside, or it's going to be um, your name, not my name. This is my page. Um, you're going to be making something that says your page. So that's the first assignment in the very first week, okay? And I'll show you how to access that in Canvas. So let me put this on the next screen and go back to here. Where, oops, I have to put this back over here. Sorry. Uh, I told you it's going to be kind of like this all semester long. So let me put this, um, meaning I'm not afraid to make mistakes in front of you. So now the photographic retouch assignment, here's an example of it. So here's a face that you're given. It's a pretty greasy face with shine on it with yellow teeth. You're going to turn it into this. And I left these three teeth yellow on purpose so you can see how pretty and white you're going to make them. But you're going to make all the teeth white. You're going to take the, the, the acne off his face and the shine off his face. I'll go back. Here is what it was. Here's what you're going to do. Okay. Now here's the next assignment. I'll show it to you. Let me... Um, minimize this and show you that in the image manipulation you're going to take a Jeep and a separate background and you're going to put them together. So here is, um, sorry, let me see back. <laughs> here is the actual Jeep that you're going to be given and I want you to work with a colored Jeep. Make sure you remember that I said that. Don't work with a white Jeep because I'm going to give some of you the option of finding your own truck. But I, I give you lots of examples on this, but I'll keep on going. You're going to learn how to isolate the sheet metal and turn it into something red or green or yellow or any color you want. You don't have to make it red. But look at how that's just the same car cut out of that studio lit background. Now here is the... Um, mountain that you're going to actually put it on and I thought I actually showed um, the actual picture from that. Um, let me see if I can quickly go to that and show you that. Let me see if it's on this one. Let me go here, here. I'm sorry for this. Let me go into 1320. Let's go into the lesson files for Mr. Sorio. Let's close this. Let's go into the lessons and let's go into the image manipulation and then look at how you're going to start with a file. Let me see where I put everything. Uh, you're going to start with a file like this that has that guy in it. You're going to learn how to quickly take that guy out and you're going to learn how to turn that into this. So let me click that again and put it here. Whoops, that went on the other screen. So you're going to turn, notice how the guy is not there anymore. You're going to put a headline up there and you're going to turn what was those that Jeep into that Jeep and bring it into that background and make it right. In the next assignment is called 3D Texture Creation. And I always give a little bit of an added extra for some of you who want to do it. And I'll make an email to you guys and tell you exactly what is due. And then some of you who want to even go further can do that. But here is the next assignment. You take a brick wall, you take this graffiti lettering, and you turn it into this. So that you can see the actual um, uh, mortar, the brick lines, through the graffiti and you make it look like it's been painted on the wall. The next assignment is a character assignment. You can see that right after this you do a character. So this is the one I did. I used a picture of Will Smith. I cut him out of a background. I found a kind of a neat looking men in black background and I turned it into this. And that's something you're going to do. But you can use any character. And you'll see in the student examples um, that you'll see some pretty funny ones. And I'll show it to you in a second. The next assignment after that is the organic apple. So you're going to take a picture of an apple. You're going to learn in Photoshop how to do several different things to it to turn it into that. Now, some of you don't have to use that apple. You can use any apple you want, but 
you should let me approve the reference before you go further. The next one is this one. Now the organic apple was week six. See it over here? Week six. Let's go to week seven and it's the hard product. So you're going to take a three-sided, notice how you can count three sides to this iPhone. You're going to take some kind of a background for a new screen. I use this one or this one. And you're going to turn it into that. So you're going to learn how to paint something in Photoshop and apply all sorts of 3D stuff to it, texture stuff to it, and you can see that that can take any screen and how easy it's going to be to clip, C-L-I-P, clip the screen on there and make a nice background. Now knowing that this would go for about $3,000 and I could do two to three of these in a week easily, you can see how lucrative Photoshop can be. All right, And that's what I call a hard object. The next assignment is now, and that um, pretty much ends your semester except for the tear sheet. Let me see if I have a copy of a tear sheet here. Now that's a movie poster which is extra credit and here is an example of a tear sheet that I put together on my material. So if I pretended I was a student, here is my tear sheet for the class. It takes everything that you've done, um, this bottom assignment here has been changed, but you can see all the assignments that are there, even the extra credit assignments, and that's what you do at the end of the semester. Now what I want to do right now is to bring back this page and show you um, the modules. So let's pretend that you're able to go online. It's Monday morning. You've watched all three of these movies right here, all three of those movies and you've gone into this screen and you've clicked modules to get to the very first assignment. So you click it. Now a module is just a section that shows you all of the material. For instance, here's the Brian Sorial movie that I would like you to watch if you haven't watched it, the Motivation movie, the Brian Sorial portfolio movie. Here is the, um, the movie I'm making right now here is my first day handout. And here are some helpful things that you will need this semester. But to get into the first week, I want you to um, uh, know that um, you're supposed to watch this Photoshop week one movie. There's nothing to turn in here. I just want you to watch it. Then I want you to go into the discussion forum click it and take part in the introductory discussion forum. Introduce yourself to the class. You don't need to go into a big background. Okay, so just go make sure by, by um, Thursday that that's due. Now, how do I know that's due on Thursday? So let's go back into the home page. And you can see here that in the very first week, the introductory discussion forum is due, I'm sorry, Wednesday on 520. It'll only take you a few minutes. Then the web page asset is due on 524, which is the Sunday um, ending the first week. So now let's go back into modules. Let me see if I can get the modules quickly and show you where that is. So now here is the web page assets. Everything is in order in here. Now, everything should be um, uh, this pretty much the same for every single module. This is the web page asset module. When you finish the file, you click the drop box like I'm going to do. And where mine says published, yours is going to say upload or submit. And you can submit um, your PSD file standing for Photoshop file or files in this case, because what you're going to do for me and let me go backwards is you're going to um, download everything that I have here and then you're going to watch the movie number one. Now I have to share with you right now that the movie number one is a real brief movie. The start of this assignment is really movie number two. Now movie number three and four are actually extra credit. Did you hear me? You don't have to do the Dreamweaver part of movie of um, this assignment. If you want to make the web page, please go forward and do movie three and four. You would have fun doing it, all right? But when you watch movie one, it's going to instruct you to do something. 
and then watch movie two to begin the assignment. But download these two pictures to your desktop, that's all you need to start, okay, and then watch movie one, and then actually watch movie two and begin the assignment. The same thing holds true for every single module. When you are finished with the retouching of the man's face, I want you to go, let me move this over so I can have you see something. I'm gonna, um, when you finish the, I didn't finish my sentence. When you finish the photographic retouching, please click the Dropbox, click Submit. Um, it'll say Upload a File and then click Submit and then I will have it, okay? That's exactly what I want you to do. Now, if you are having an issue with any assignment, did you hear me? Click the inbox, click compose, click your class that's right there, send Brian your file, type in what problem you're having, see the attach button? Attach your PSD file to the email then I will send you back a fix movie to show you what you're doing wrong. And that's how you can do it all semester long. If you're having an issue with anything, sometimes even three or four or five times for a single project, send me the project in an email, all right, Canvas email, only Canvas email, because it can handle huge files, all right? So I'm gonna cancel that and I'm gonna go back to the module, but please, if you're having an issue, send me your file, tell me what your issue is, and then I'll fix it with a movie. I know I'm repeating myself, but I do all the time. So every single week is the same way. Now, what I wanted to show you here was when it says asset file, if I'll move this over, sometimes it'll be zip files and I'll click it. So I'm gonna go into this next one. Now you see here how it says, click here to download the face JPEG. So I click it. Now over here, you should see in two seconds, the actual face come on my screen. Oh, there it is up there. See it, it's right there. So now you're going to begin by working on that face. So you're gonna open it in Photoshop and begin your file. And how do you do that? Well, you now go to the, um, photographic tutorial movie. So you click it and you watch it. Now, I want to explain something to you right now before I even start this, but I will start it. Now you can we click on to the second project called the photographic retouch. Okay. Project. So I'm going, I'm going to, to um, bring up right now the first day handout. I'm going to stop it. Now you can maximize it to full screen. I'll hit the escape button. Or you can also go to my Brian Sorial YouTube channel if you want, because every single movie that's here comes from my YouTube channel. So I'll go over here. I'll actually just go right there and click YouTube. And then this is my Brian Sorial YouTube channel right now. So if I go to my channel, you can see how I have playlists. See them right there? So I'll click it. Now, if I go into the intro to Photoshop playlist right there on my YouTube channel, I'm gonna stop this. That's actually the very first movie that I want you to watch and it's in, I, I better show you, it's in here. So if you watch that right here, that movie right there, Photoshop week one playing movie is actually going to be that movie, not that movie, um, that movie right there. Now, if you go into um, over here, you can see here are all of the movies. Here's the photographic retouching movie. Here's the image manipulation movie, the 3D texture movie. I have a lot of different movies inside of there. Okay, so if you um, don't like how it's playing in Canvas, go to my YouTube channel and you can get it. So that's pretty cool. Now, I'm gonna close that, go back to the module, and we're gonna just continue. So what I wanna do, um, I'm losing track in my own little tiny brain of what it is I wanted you to see. Um, I've shown you how to get to every single 
movie. I've shown you how to download the asset files. Um, I've shown you how to click back to your um, dashboard if you need to call Canvas. There's the number right there that I'm highlighting. And I um, want to go to um, the first day handout. And I want to bring it back over here. And I want to go back to the very first page, or actually the third page, and show you some stuff. So um, from course description to course objectives, fine, 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 OK? Um, how you can use YouTube tutorials, video tutorials, and a few PDF files to help you this semester. I don't believe in step-by-step -step PDF guides. I want you to watch the movies and then pause the movies. So I should show you that right away. So as you go to my YouTube channel and you play a movie, let's just start the photographic retouching we movie. We are on to the second project called the photographic retouching. Now let's say that you get this far in it right here. The nose, and you can see here how he has little thingies hanging out of his nose. <laughs> and, you know, nobody's perfect, okay? All and right. So when I do something here, pause it. You go to your file and make it happen. If you have to rewind this, then just rewind it a little bit and rewatch the step. So you can do that over and over and over again. And that's what makes this class so cool is because. You should have no reason not to do an assignment right and just please have the patience to watch all of these movies. I want you to use the movies as your training facility. I took all the time necessary to make a huge Photoshop playlist, intro to Photoshop playlist on my YouTube channel, which I say again, let me go back into the class, which I say again is totally available and you can use Canvas all semester long to access all the movies. All right. So when we, the movie you just saw playing is that movie right there and is that movie right there. So you can still pause this. You can still move forward. You can watch what they're doing there. You can watch what I'm doing here. You can draw and paint and do whatever you need. Pause it. You can rewind it and then watch that section again. Just remember one thing. And I'm going to bring this back over. I think I've made my point clear, but it's not about just these assignments. Let me move up to the assignments. It's not just about these assignments. Yes, you will receive grades for these assignments. And these are all you have to do for the eight week semester. If you want to go further, then do these three over here. This is your first day handout. Please review it. All right. I go down here and I say late assignment. Point deduction one per day. If you email me and tell me you're having an issue with an assignment, I won't take off any points. Can you turn in an assignment over and over again and get a better grade? Of course you can, because I care about skill. I care about your portfolio being the best it can absolutely be. So as you're moving through the semester, I want you to remember if you're in week seven and you're still doing week six assignment, it's okay. All right. I'll work it out with you. It's not a big deal. As long as you have tried to turn in the best you can and you take the skills from week one into week two into week three. And that's what this class is designed for. So I think I've gone on long enough for this. Um, if I forget anything, I'll either do a quick little help movie and send it to you, which I do all the time. So welcome to a new semester. I think I've covered everything. If you have problems in Canvas, call that number that I showed on the screen right here. Call that number. They will get you where you need to be. Um, thank you. And I will talk to all of you as the semester moves on. And again, welcome.